And we'll start off by just humming. We're gonna hum this morning. Um, those of you who like to um, sing, you can do more singing style. But we're just gonna hum um. And I want you to feel the resonation of the, the word um in your mouth. And you can create just a little bit of space. So that you can do this with your eyes closed. It can almost, it can also be silent if you're hopefully you're not embarrassed to hear yourself hum. But if you didn't want to do it audibly, you can just um, do it with, you know, imagining you're making the sound. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. And then hum, om, mm. take another deep breath in and see how long you can om buzzing, like, you know, creating this vibration in your mouth. So E, inhale. Mm. Good. Take another inhale. Mm. And I'll see if you can do it just a little bit longer. So the idea here is we always do inhales and exhales, but trying to extend the exhale with that resonating vibration sound in your mouth and in your sinus cavities. This is really good for sinus headaches too. So here we go again, two more times. Inhale. Mm. Empty out completely. And then try it again. Inhale deeply through the nose if you can. And then exhale with your Vibration. Mm. And then open your eyes. I'm not sure if you felt it, but I could definitely feel when I was umming and exhaling, I almost could feel it in my feet. So you can play around with a little practice like that. Um, just finding this beautiful hum to relax you. And it actually is just like exhaling, but we're doing it with a sound. All right, so let's begin by sitting tall again, straightening our back. Inhale both arms out to the side. And then we're gonna take our right arm, our left arm on the bottom, right arm on top. Give yourself a little hug, tuck your chin in towards your chest and then around towards your knees. And then inhale, lift up. And then exhale, bring the arms back out. We're gonna switch sides. Switching, right elbow on the bottom this time. Tuck the chin in and round and point your elbows in between your knees. Lift up. Now we're just gonna, this is our warm up here. So. Switching arms, try to remember which one you had on top and bottom. And if you like to continue to um, your inhales you'll do through your nose if possible. And on the exhale, you could move mm, on the way down. Just an option. Come back up. Right away, we're working lots of muscles here, our shoulders as we. Lean forward our back and our front side, our core. So just kind of move and breathe. As you lean forward, put the pressure into the soles of your feet equally. See if you can spread out the weight. So one side of your foot or the top or the bottom of the uh, toes or the heels is not taking the brunt of the weight. Try to distribute equally. <sighs> Let's do two more, one on each side. And 
them rise back up when you're complete. Take your arms out and then bring your hands to your lap. And we're gonna go into a little like up dog shape. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. You're just going to hands on your lap, stick your head out, push your chest forward. So feel like this little arch in your low back. And you can kind of stretch, drop your shoulders down. Ah, and now tuck your chin in and push your shoulders forward, rounding the back. Now let's try it again. Little cobra-like shape, push your chest forward, shoulders down, front of your th throat is nice and long, and then tuck your chin back in. So these are like our cats and cows, but more like a cobra, you can call it whatever you like. Do a couple on your own, pushing back through your spine and then bringing your sternum, your chest, your heart forward, stretching the front of your throat and then tucking the chin in. And next time you come into the chest coming forward, shoulders coming down, I want you to come into a flat back. So you may want to total your feet out, keep your spine straight and lean forward. Elbows bent and your hands on your knees. And then push up. And then we're going to bring it back down. Again, if this hurts your back, if you're finding any sort of pain here, Restrain from doing it. It's optional. Everything is options. Right away, I, I always like to notice when I start to feel warm, like, oh, my body is heating up. And your muscles move better when they're warm. You get that little hot flash in your body. You're like, oh, okay. My temperature in my body is rising. My muscles are going to be more, um, more ready to move when they're warm. All right. Two more. Ooh, I'm really feeling this in my back. And this one, we're going to stay and slide our hands down. You can keep your head up looking forward, or you can look down under your chair if you don't get dizzy. If you don't touch the floor or your feet, who cares? Hold on to your shins, hold on to your ankles. Okay, too. Now we'll inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale here. And then exhale, rise up. Take your time. Lean to the back of your chair and then straighten out your legs in front of you. So knees go straight, body gets nice and long, and you've got this little incline with your shoulders on the back of the chair. Hold on to the side of the chair with your hands, and we're going to straighten out the right leg and lift it and lower it. So we did these the other day. These are extensions, so we're working lower abdominals. If you can point your toes, do that. If it doesn't work, then don't do that. You can also flex it. Maybe that feels better. Or do a couple of both. When you get tired, rest. Now we'll try the other side. So left legs nice and long. And lift, just leg lifts. Mm. 
and try a couple flex with the foot, like it's standing on something. And then when you've had enough and you wanna rest, lower that leg, walk your feet back towards the chair, sit up. So now we're in the middle of the chair. And let's move through a sun salutation. Let's take three breaths before we do that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, here we're going to move through our sun salutations. Inhale, arms, both arms up the front. Exhale, fold over your legs, hands to your knees. Slide your hands down. Slide up halfway, roll the shoulders back. Stretch the front of your throat. Exhale, fold, tuck the chin in if you can. Press both feet into the ground, look forward, reach your arms out and pull your chest up. Exhale, hands down by your waist. Let's try it again. Again, make sure that you're really stable and you're on the chair, feet are grounded. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to your knees. Inhale, push your heart through this time like we did for Cobra. And then exhale, slide your hands down, adding in that extra little piece. Slide up halfway, shoulders back. Exhale, fold. Look forward, reach your arms out by your ears and then lift up, use your core. Exhale, arms come down, shoulders relax. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to your knees. Lean forward, chest forward, elbows squeeze in towards your ribs. Tuck the chin in and slide down your legs. Inhale, slide up towards your knees. Exhale, fold again. Look forward, reach your arms out and pull up. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to your knees. Chest comes forward, shoulders go back. Front of your throat opens up. Tuck your chin down, slide down your legs. Lift up halfway, hands to knees. Exhale, slide your hands down your shins again. Look forward, reach your arms out, press into your feet, draw yourself upwards. Exhale, arms down by your waist. Let's try one more. See if you can do it at your own pace, not with me cueing, because I want you to really get into moving and breathing. And if you forget where you're at, just make up something. You guys have been with me long enough that you know it's okay to do your own. When you're complete, I want you to bring your hands to your heart center and close your eyes. And just take a moment to get still and calm and find some clarity. Take two more breaths here. And when you're ready, open your eyes and we're gonna bring our right shin in, holding on to it with one or both hands and give it a little squeeze towards your chest. And then 
Start to make some movement in your right ankle. You can circle it, flex it, point it up and down. Move it around. And then we're gonna hold on to it with your right hand and open and close that hip. Couple times like this. And then we'll set the left foot, I mean the right knee down on the right side. You may wanna to scoot to the edge of right edge of your corner of your chair. And then maybe even windshield wiper, a little bit of that knee so it relaxes. And then settle your knee over your ankle and then sit nice and tall, straight spine. If you want your shoulders over your hips. Left knee is pointing to 12 o'clock and right knee's out to the right side. Now we're gonna take a little bit of a twist to hold on to your right knee and then turn to look over your left shoulder. And then come back through center and turn and look over your right shoulder. And now look back to the left. As you look to the left, take your left hand out. So left hand extends behind you. And see if you can follow your left hand all the way in front over here to the right knee. Place your left hand on top of your right and bend your elbows and lean. If this hurts your back, please don't go so far. Try to keep your spine straight as opposed to rounding. Lift and so keep nice long spine and just lean to the right knee. So the back is straight, not rounded here. Ah, now we'll come back up. Stretch your left arm out, look to your left palm, go back behind you. And we'll do it again. Sweep your left hand all the way across. Left hand goes to on top of the right hand. Lift up your head, bend your elbow, straight spine, and lean. Breathe here. Very good. Inhale, lift up. Left hand goes out. And then left hand comes down to the side of the chair. And then we're gonna reverse the right palm, turn it up, reach over your head, make a stretch to the left. Your right palm can also hold the back of your head. We'll take a couple breaths here. And then come back out through center. Bring both arms out to a T. And then twist. And as we twist, we're just gonna keep twisting to where we can get right hand behind this left hand in front, to pointing towards the right knee. And then twist the other direction. Take it slow. Notice what's happening in your feet. Can you make sure they're not moving? Imagine you have some sandbags sitting on top of them so they are anchored down. Very good. All right, slow down your twist. Good. And bring your hands to your knees, sit tall again. Take your left palm, place it behind your head. And then we're gonna cross it over, point your left elbow towards your right knee. And then re-extend it out. Elbow points towards your right knee. Squeeze in your, uh, your abdominal muscles when you point your elbow down So squeeze. Release, two more. I think that was three more, but that's okay. <laughs> we forget, <laughs> lower your left hand, inhale, lift up your right knee and step it back in. So 
to bring your feet together, sit nice and tall, and we'll rest for a couple breaths here. Good, now we'll do the same series using the left leg. So hold on with both hands, bring your left knee in towards your chest. See if you can straighten your spine just a little bit and then start to make movements in your left ankle. Circling both directions, pointing and flexing, maybe even spreading apart your toes. Good. And now we'll hold on with the left hand and open and close the hip. And then we'll move the knee all the way over here to the left side, scoot to the corner edge of left side, the corner of your left side of your chair, sit nice and tall. And just take a second to feel your feet on the ground, make sure maybe even shake out that left knee again. And then land so that the knee is over the ankle. Straight spine. Now turn your head and look to the right. Bring your head back to neutral and then look to the left. Bring your head back to neutral, extend out your right arm and then take your gaze to your right hand. Now follow your arm across. And then bring it out. Go behind you, see if you can reach back and then bring your right hand forward, place it on top of your left hand, lift up your chest Bend your elbows and come down. So you're just keeping the spine straight, not rounding and hunching, straight spine, leaning towards your left knee. Breathe in and out here. Try not to let the right knee collapse. It's stable as well. Good, now lift up. Extend out your right arm. So you can go a little further back, follow it with your gaze. And then bring it back forward. You're gonna do that lean one more time. Right hand on top of left. Bend your elbow, straight spine. Head's not looking down, it's kind of looking up and forward. Leaning towards the left leg. Good, nice and easy, lift yourself back up. Left hand goes out, left hand comes, the uh, right hand goes out, right hand comes to the chair. And then the left arm's gonna reach out, left arm reaches up. Maybe you even reach over your head to the right or straight up. And then bring both arms out to a T and we'll take some of those twists. Right hand forward, left hand back. Keep your feet anchored. Go slow. Bring a little smile to your face like it's not painful. <laughs> I have to remind myself that. Start to slow it down. And then bring both hands to your legs, sit nice and tall. 
And then we'll take the right hand and place the right palm on the back of your head. And this is where we do the cross. So we're gonna point the elbow toward, the right elbow towards your left knee. Tuck your chin in as you do that. Squeeze your abdominal muscles and then lift up. And breathe and move. Nice and gentle. Take your time. The slower you go, the more you work on strength, the faster you go, you're just using momentum and momentum doesn't really build muscle strength. One more. Ah. Release the right hand, bring it down. Breathe in nice and tall and exhale. Lift up your left leg, bring it next to your right. Press both feet into the ground. And then we're gonna lean forward and lean back. Some of those little rocking and rolling forward and back. Make sure your feet stay on the ground for this one. We're gonna get a little bigger on the next one. So as you lean back, see if you can stay. If your back hits the chair, scoot a little bit more forward. So try not to touch the back, not rest your back on the chair, on the back side of the chair. <laughs> Definitely feel this one. All right, now if you want to add in lifting your feet off the ground, you can. It doesn't have to be high and can be very barely lifting. An inch, half an inch, whatever it is, that's okay. And when you've had enough, you're just going to land your feet and rest. And we'll sit nice and tall. Breathe in through your nose if you can. Relax your shoulders down when you're exhaling. Now we're gonna move into our standing posture. So take your time, come up to standing. We're gonna keep the chair to the side. So you're gonna, well, it's gonna, the chair's gonna face forward. You're gonna to stand to the side of it. I'm gonna start on my left side. And I want you to imagine if you were to go pick something up off the ground, you wouldn't just do this. You would bend your knees and come down. So we're gonna practice that. I just want you to take a little squat, take your hands to like bend your knees and touch the chair and then stand. Touch the chair with your fingertips and then stand up. If you're like, this is too easy, you can go back to just doing it, touching the floor. <laughs> Make sure you bend your knees Yeah, either one is fine. And right away, you're probably feeling this. So let's do one more and rest. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to step slightly. If um, left leg is going to be in front, right leg is going to be closest to the chair. So the left foot is probably in, your left foot should be in front of the, your left pointing where there's no seat. <laughs> Words are hard, okay? Now, we're gonna take our left hand to the chair, crossing over. As you do that, bring your right hand behind you. And then bring your left arm up. 
So we're crossing over, touching the chair, and back. Two more, crossing over and then reaching up. And last one. And then lower your left hand, lower your right hand, just stand tall. Take a nice gentle breath. Make sure you're not gonna hit anything behind you. We're gonna kick out our legs here. So we're gonna do a little balance. Inhale both arms up and exhale your right hand to the chair. Left hand's gonna go back and then lift up your right leg. So right hands on the chair, right legs in the air, left hand is back. And now set it back down, stand up. Let's try it again. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right hand to the chair, left hand behind your waist, right leg lifts up. Look forward, soft bend in your left knee. Lower your right foot, reach both arms up. Exhale, both arms down. One more round. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the chair, left hand back. Lift up your right leg, push it back behind you. Reach back with your left fingertips. Lower your right foot, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale the hands down. Good job. Let's switch directions. So just scoot over here to the right side. We're only gonna do a couple of these, those squats. But I want you to challenge yourself. If you can go a little lower, try this. So you can do what we just did where we bend the knees and pick something up, or you can try this. So we're gonna inhale both arms up, exhale squat, bending your knees, come a little lower. See if you can, like you're scooping something up. Uh, and your heels will probably come off the ground and your arms come up. Exhale down. So either one you can do. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, you can come into a squat, you can hold onto the chair. Straighten the legs, reach up. You can keep doing those or you can go back to just bending the knees and lifting up. Whichever one you want, you can try. Knees definitely warm you up. If your knees start to go, uh-uh, be careful, don't do it, just skip it. And then when you had enough, we'll just come back to standing, take a break, for just a second. And then we'll stand so that the right leg is out in front of the front of the chair. And we're gonna do the twist. So you're gonna take your right hand to the chair and bend your knees. You can take your left hand, bring it behind your back and then come up. So it's a squat and a touch with the palm. Doing great. These are so good for your abdominal muscles. One more. And then rest. Hands beside you. And relax.
And now we're gonna take the stretch again with the balance. So this time your left hand's gonna touch the seat of the chair. Your left leg's gonna go back and your right hand's gonna reach behind you. So let's start by sweeping both arms up to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the chair. I mean, left hand to the chair, right leg back. Whoops, I already did it wrong. <laughs> Not perfect, let's try that again. <laughs> Maybe you got it right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right hand goes back, left leg goes back. Look forward, feel a stretch here. Keep the knees soft, touch down the feet together, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms down. And again, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left hand to the chair. Left leg behind you, right arm back. Look forward. Ah, touch down the left foot, bend the knees, rise up. Hands come down one more time, guys. Inhale, reach up, big stretch to the sky. Exhale, lean forward, left hand to the seat of the chair. Right arm goes back, left leg goes back, look forward. Ah, touch down, left foot, reach both arms up. And bring both hands down by your waist. Catch your breath. Now we're gonna turn the chair so it is in front of us, so the back side of the chair. So you've got your hands on the backrest. And then start to walk your feet back into your downward facing dog. We use this as a resting pose as well. So you can take a couple breaths and if you need to bend your knees or wag your tail, you're welcome to do that or if just staying still feels better to you. Take that option. So still working on stability, strength in our core muscles. We're gonna come into a high push-up. So your hands should be a, you know, pretty, pretty far apart as much as you can to not fall them off the chair. Bring your arms apart so that your chest can pull through, keep, your spine straight and push your hips forward towards the chair. If your chair starts to slide, put it up against a wall. We don't want the chair moving. Um, that's why I use a mat underneath my chair because it would just slide. Okay, now push back into your downward facing dog. Good, now rise up into your high push-up, hips forward, shoulders down, head is lifting up through your, your arms, belly's engaged, push back down, we're done. Do two more on your own. So you'll inhale up and you'll exhale back. When you finish that last one, stay in down dog. And we're gonna take a little twist here. Take your left hand to your right leg and take a little peekaboo underneath your arm. You can bend your right knee if that feels better to you. And just kind of twist and like look underneath your right arm. And then we'll switch sides. Take your left hand back to the chair. Take your right hand to your left leg, maybe bending your left knee. See how that feels? And then look underneath your left arm. And 
And now bring your right hand back to the chair. Lift up into your high plank. Lift your heels this time. See if you can come even more forward. If your chair, again, if your chair is moving, don't do this. We don't want to slide you across the floor. And then see if you can tiptoe your way to the chair. On your tippy toes. Exhale, lower your heels, bend your knees, come into Ukatasana Thunderbolt Pose. Draw your belly in so you feel everything's tightening up here. You don't want to stick your booty out. Try to push your belly in and up. Feel your legs nice and strong. Straighten your legs, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale your hands down by your waist. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing, but you guys can face this way. We're just going to come into our tree pose. I've practiced just a little bit of balance. Right foot can go out and then touch down somewhere on your left leg. So if you can keep, if it's too much, keep your big toe on the ground. If you are okay, you can slide it up to your calf. And you can also use the chair to help you with the balance. If you wanna play just a little bit, you can try taking your hands off of the chair. You should also very much smile in this pose and breathe. <laughs> I like happy trees, not sad and miserable ones. Keep your shoulders down and your head up. Doing great. When you fall out of it, shake out your left foot, your left leg. And reset everything. Find something to stare at, not the screen, because I'm moving. Find something in front of you that's not going to move. Take your left foot out to the left side. Bend your left knee and then place, land your left foot somewhere on your right leg. Straighten your spine, relax your shoulders, draw your belly in and up, and play with your balance. If you have an injury in your foot, one foot may balance way better than the other one. So please don't be hard on yourself, be kind. And then when you fall out of it, shake out your legs. And then we're still facing this way. We're gonna toehill our feet out. And coming into a goddess squat. So I want your toes to point away from the chair. And then try to bend your knees. I'm just going to turn back forward so you can see me. Bend your knees and come into a wide-legged squat. And then we can try a little balance here. Now straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Big stretch to the sky. And then exhale, bring the arms down, bend into the knees again. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, back into the squat. Go as low as you like. Two more. One more. And then stay. Ah. Uh, Exhale the hands down by your waist, keep your feet out. Now turn your right foot in, turn your left foot in so you're facing forward or pointing under your chair, a little wider stance in your chair. Take your right arm out to the right side. As you do that, lower the left hand down the left side of your leg, taking a side body stretch. Option also to hold the back of your head. So you should feel a nice stretch here on the right side. Back through center. Let's do the right side two more times. Slide your left hand down. And back up. One more. Back up. 
Release your right hand down. Let's try the left side. Left arm goes out, left hand to the back of your head, or reach up and over, slide. Right hand down your right leg. Two more times. Last one. Back out. Now, if you're standing really close to your chair, I'm gonna ask you to kind of scoot your chair out in front of you. Keep your legs wide. And we're gonna go into a wide legged fold. So your legs are still out wide, push your chair forward, and then come down. So you get a little bit of the inner thighs here. Stretch out your arms forward. Wide-legged down dog, basically. Good. Nice and slow, lift your head, lift your torso, toe heel your feet back together. And then walk towards the back of your chair. Stand tall, straighten your spine. Just rest here for a breath. And then we'll make our way back to the seat. We're gonna cross our right ankle over our left, just crossing your ankles. We're gonna finish out with a twist here. Take your left hand to your right leg, turn to the right. And come back through center, uncross your right ankle, cross your left ankle on top of your right, right hand to left leg, twist to the left. And then back through center, uncross your legs and walk your feet out. So straightening your knees, sit to the edge of your chair. Inhale, both arms up. And then exhale, soften your knees as you reach down towards your ankles. Options to keep your head up or look down or under the chair. You can take a couple breaths here. Now nice and slow, slide your hands up your legs. Lean back. And then if you like, you can take your arms up overhead, point your toes, reach out through your fingertips behind you. And then exhale, release your arms down. And you can bend your knees or set up for Shavasana, so if you want to come move yourself to a couch, the floor, or somewhere else where you can feel comfortable. And just as we started our practice with the humming, we're going to end it. And you can continue, and we're only going to do three together. And if you want to continue it, you're welcome to. Um, if you hate it, don't do it. It's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just teaching you new little tricks. So with your eyes closed, I want you to inhale deeply. As you exhale, I want you to hum om. So deep breath in. Exhale your om. Deep breath in. Exhale your word om. Oh. 
See if you can relax just 5% more here. Notice the cadence. Notice what it feels like to relax. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, and Bronson Alacart all talk about the Bhagavad They talk about yoga. People are truly at their best when they can self regulate. Meditation in the practice of breathing teaches you how to self-regulate. When our days and our, our nights are full of deep thoughts, sometimes it can be harder to self-regulate. So practicing slow, deep breathing or humming can help. Take three more breaths. When you finish your third breath, start to make movements again in your body by wiggling your fingers or toes, stretching out in any direction that feels good or rocking your head. And then when you're ready, we'll finish out our practice sitting nice and tall. Bring your palms together. Bow our head to acknowledge one another. It was an honor and a pleasure to practice with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to be calm, to be patient. So that you can self-regulate. So you can bring a sense of patience and calm into our community. Namaste. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. Dollars per hour. That was good. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, have a good week. You too. Take care. Day one.